I've got the Squatch toothpaste and the orange juice. Let's run this test. All right, so I just finished a couple new Dr. Squatch reviews. One was for the new Dr. Squatch colognes and the other was for the Dr. Squatch lotions. I'll leave a link on the outro for those if you want to check them out. But today, we are reviewing Dr. Squatch toothpaste. We've got the morning formula and the night formula. These have been out for a while now, but I recently decided to try them out so that I could make a review. Dr. Squatch advertises that the toothpaste is made from all natural ingredients and don't have any of the chemicals that your average store-bought toothpaste has. And they claim that their ingredients are so natural that you can actually drink orange juice after you brush your teeth and that there will be no sour taste. So we definitely need to put that to the test. Now I've been using these for a couple weeks now and I'll let you know what I think, but first I want to run a test. I'm about to brush my teeth with Crest that I bought from the store. And then I'm going to do the orange juice test. Just so that we can compare my two reactions side by side. First to the Crest and then to the Squatch. Now I have no doubt that I'm going to have a really nasty reaction to this store-bought toothpaste. The test will be to see if it's better with the Squatch. So I'm about to step out real quick and brush my teeth with the Crest and then I'm going to follow up immediately afterwards and drink orange juice and see my reaction. Alright, I'm back. I just brushed my teeth and as you can see, I have the orange juice here. Ready to go ahead and give it the test. I know this is going to be nasty, so I really hope you guys enjoy this, but hey, I've subjected myself to Spartan Scrub, so this is nothing. All right, cheers. It's pretty bad when it first goes in your mouth and after you swallow it and it goes down, it's not as bad, but there's a pretty nasty aftertaste. <laughs> it's not as bad as some toothpaste that I've tasted before, but it's definitely not good. Okay, the taste is starting to subside, so that actually was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right, so the toothpaste I just used is the Crest White Charcoal Deep Clean Whitening Therapy. And honestly, after I used it and then drank the orange juice, the reaction was not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. The taste was sour, but it's very brief. It didn't really linger all that long. So this Crest here may not be as bad as a lot of the other store-bought toothpastes. But I still wouldn't recommend it because, of course, it does have more chemicals than the natural toothpaste. Also, after I try these out and give these the orange juice test, I'm going to try out another natural toothpaste that runs half the cost of the Dr. Squatch. And I'm going to take the orange juice test to that one and see my reaction to that as well. And then we'll see if this Dr. Squatch toothpaste is worth the hefty price tag. These are running at $22 for the set. So we're looking at $11 per 4.7 ounce tube. All right, so I'm going to pause the video and then tomorrow morning I'm going to come back and I'm going to go over the ingredients for the morning formula and then I'm going to use this and then take the orange juice test and we'll compare my reaction to the one I just did. Be right back. All right, it's the next morning. I'm about to use the Dr. Squatch morning toothpaste and then I will take the orange juice test. But before I do that, I wanted to go over the ingredients really quick. It says that it tastes like citrus and mint and I would agree with that. The flavor is very light. It just has a very light citrus slash mint flavor. It's a pretty good flavor, nothing spectacular or anything, but you know, pretty good for a toothpaste. And it says that it's free from harsh chemicals, sulfates, and parabens. 
So I think that's the most important thing. But if you scroll up, it says formulated for men. So sorry, ladies, you cannot use this toothpaste. It's not for you. This is only for men. I didn't know that we need separate toothpastes for men or women, but I guess we do. I just hope I don't ever accidentally get women's toothpaste. Okay, so here are the ingredients. I'm just going to display them here. And if you want to read them in more detail, you can pause the video. But I'm not going to read them all off because it's just going to take too long. But the ingredients are supposed to be really healthy and that's the most important thing. All right, so I'm going to step out real quick and use the morning formula here to brush my teeth. And then I'll come back and let you know what I think and we'll take the orange juice test. Hey, I just put the toothpaste on a toothbrush and thought some of my viewers may want to know what the toothpaste looks like. So here it is. It has a nice minty scent. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and brush and then I'll come back for the orange juice test. All right, I just finished less than a minute ago and now it's time for the dreaded orange juice test. It actually tastes fine. It passed the test. So I'm drinking a lot of it so I finish this cup. Almost all gone. Tastes fine. Tastes normal. <sighs> all gone. I wanted to drink the entire thing to show that it tasted fine. So it passed the orange juice test just like it's advertised. All right, so tonight I'll use the night formula toothpaste and then I'll take the orange juice test after that. All right, I'm back. I'm about to go to bed and I wanted to try the night formula toothpaste and then take the orange juice test. As you can see here, this flavor is spearmint. See how it smells? Yeah, it smells minty like the other one, but this mint is a bit stronger. It has a pretty good scent. Before I test it out, I wanted to post the ingredients. I'm not going to read all the ingredients for the sake of time, but if interested, you can pause the video and read for yourself. All right, so I'll go ahead and show you what the toothpaste looks like. There we go. Yeah, it looks basically the same as the other. It has a similar scent, but the mint is stronger on this one. I think I actually prefer this nighttime spearmint scent to the morning time citrus mint scent. All right, I'm about to step out and brush my teeth and then I'll be back for the orange juice test. Okay, so I just finished brushing my teeth and then I came straight in here and I'm ready to take the orange juice test. It's, it's not too bad, but it's a, it's a little more sour than the morning toothpaste. It's tolerable, but it is a little sour. But the morning toothpaste, the orange juice wasn't sour at all. But with the night toothpaste, it was slightly sour. But I think I actually prefer the nighttime spearmint toothpaste to the morning time citrus mint. But they're both good. The spearmint just has a little bit of a stronger flavor, while the citrus mint is lighter. But they're both really good, but are they worth $22 good? Tomorrow, I'm going to test another toothpaste that is healthy and doesn't have the chemicals, but it's at half the price. You can get a pair of these toothpastes for $11, opposed to 22 for this pair. So if each of these costs $11, then the other one should be somewhere around $550 to $6. 
So tomorrow I'm going to try out the cheaper healthy toothpaste and then take the orange juice test and we'll see how that goes. All right, it's the next day and here is the other healthy toothpaste I was telling you about. I just ordered it off of Amazon. Dr. Sheffield Certified Natural Toothpaste. Great tasting, fluoride free toothpaste, freshen your breath, whiten your teeth, reduce plaque. Two pack for $11.99. Opposed to $22 for this two pack. So if you read the label, it says no fluoride, no synthetic detergents, no synthetic foaming agents, no artificial preservatives, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no artificial sweeteners, no genetically modified organisms, and no animal testing. So this should be about as healthy as the Dr. Squatch toothpaste, or at least close to it. And here I'll post the ingredients, but to save time, I'm not going to read all of those off, but you can pause it and read for yourself if you're interested. All right, so I got this two-pack for $12, opposed to this two-pack for $22. So is this as good as this? Let's put it to the test. I'm about to step out and brush my teeth and then I'll come back for the dreaded orange juice test. All right, here's what the tube looks like. Kind of a funny looking cap. And I think you're supposed to use this cap to open up the toothpaste tube. Okay, just punctured it. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. A little out. All right. Yep. It looks like toothpaste. All right. So let me go ahead and test this out. I will be back momentarily and take the orange juice test. All right. I just finished brushing my teeth. It came straight in here to take the orange juice test. It's not too bad, but the morning citrus mint was much better. This is definitely better than the store-bought. This is not nearly as sour as the store-bought toothpaste, but it's a little more sour than the citrus mint. but it's not bad. It's probably about the same level as the nighttime formula from Dr. Squatch. So yeah, I would say that the Dr. Sheffield's is pretty healthy as well. Dr. Squatch versus Dr. Sheffield. Let the battle of the doctors begin. Do you think Dr. Sheffield is as brilliant of a doctor as Dr. Squatch? Let us know in the comments. Now I will say that Dr. Sheffield's toothpaste had an okay flavor. It wasn't bad, but the Dr. Squatch toothpaste flavor was way better. But if you're only paying half the price, it may be worth getting this one instead. As far as ingredients go, I think they're both healthy. I'd say they're probably about the same, but do you really want to pay twice as much for this just because it tastes a little better? It's really up to you. Now, one thing I definitely do like better about Dr. Squatch is the material of the tubing. This is made from some recycled materials, which is good, but this feels like it could tear up halfway through its usage. Whereas this is very durable and you definitely are not going to have to worry about it tearing. I don't know, maybe this won't tear, but it just feels kind of flimsy to me. And I'm not sure if I trust it to last throughout the duration of the entire tube. Hopefully I'm wrong though. That's probably part of the reason that this costs less because the packaging is cheaper. Quality wise, I'd say these are probably about equal. Overall, I prefer the Dr. Squatch, but this is half the price. So it's really up to you and your budget. If you don't mind paying the extra money for the Dr. Squatch, then I would recommend just getting the Dr. Squatch. But if you're on a tight budget, like a lot of us are, then this would be a good alternate if you're looking to have a healthier toothpaste. 
So overall, I think these are probably about equal in terms of ingredients. If you really want to do your research and find out if one is a tad better than the other, that's fine. But overall, I'd say they're about equal. And that both are good alternatives to the toothpaste that you buy in the stores that have chemicals in them. And the pros for Dr. Squatch is better flavor and better packaging material. And the pro for Dr. Sheffield is the lower price tag. You get two for 12 or two for 22. So that's about it for this review. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and God bless.